comment, share. Please subscribe. <laughs>
and a bit of ground cumin. So I am going to bring it to a boil. Now our chicken broth has come to a boil. I'm going to transfer it into a bowl using a strainer. Mmm, smells good. And I am going to discard the bones and the skin. Let this cool down. And I'm going to boil my potatoes. Now that our water is boiling, I already wash and cut my potatoes. Now I am going to boil my potatoes for five minutes. After that, I'm going to take it out and we are going to make our filling. I'm not going to overcook my potatoes because I don't like mashed potatoes in my pot pie. Now our potatoes is nice and tender. I'm going to turn off my stove and transfer it into a bowl. Now it's time to make our filling. I'm melting my butter. It's one stick of butter and two tablespoons. If you, if you want a delicious buttery gravy you need a lot of butter to make your gravy you can use vegetable oil too if you like but i'm using butter because i like buttery pot pie once my butter is heated up i'm going to add my medium chopped onion Now, I'm going to add my onion inside. Now, I'm going to keep stirring just to tender my onions. going to add my flour this is a half cup of flour and I'm going to stir this for five minutes it smells nice and I'm going to add my chicken broth While adding the broth, I'm going to just keep stirring like this.
nice and thick. Now I am going to add milk because I like to add milk in my chicken pot pie. I'm going to add a half cup of whole milk, but you can use any milk you like. Adding milk is to keep that creamy texture. Look at that. Mm. Ooh, yummy. Now I am going to season it. teaspoon of Italian seasoning, teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of cilantro leaves. Look at that. Ooh, yum. I am going to taste it. Mmm, wow. Nice. Needs a little bit of salt. So half a teaspoon. Now I am going to add my shredded chicken. Mm. Look at that, guys. And then follow up by our potatoes. Now I'm going to one cup of frozen vegetables. That's a half a cup. Well, the frozen vegetables, you don't need to cook. Just stir it in your filling it's enough to cook them look at that guys oh yum all right now we are done with our filling i could just eat it like this mm. all right time to make our pie crust now, for our pie crust, we need two cups of all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, two third cups of all vegetables shortening. That's one. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a fork, just mash my shortening into the flour. Add five tablespoons of tap water. 
Who? Tap water. Two, three, four, five. Then use the same fork just to mix it up. It kind of like forms a dough like this. Make sure that you don't overwork your dough. Otherwise, it will toughen the dough. You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to form a dough here. Just bring it all together and then kind of forms a dough, a big dough. Like that. Now I'm going to wet my hand, then bring it all together. Now, I'm going to flour my work surface, countertop, I'm going to divide my dough into two. The other piece is a little bit bigger than the other, like this, because this is going to be the bottom and this is going to be the, the top part of our pie. Now, I'm not going to freeze my dough because I am using a sh uh, vegetable shortening. But if you are using butter to make your crust, you need to freeze your dough. So now I'm going to flour my rolling pin as well. Then roll it like that. Make sure that you flour your surface that your dough won't stick. I'm using a 9 inch, 23 centimeter pie, pie dish. So I'm going to roll my bottom dough uh, 2 inches wider than the, the pie dish. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to flour my rolling pin and I'm going to roll my dough like this.
it will create problems when you seal your pot pie. Now that we add our filling, I'm going to roll out the, the top. I'll leave this aside. Now this is going to be the top of our pot pie. I'm going to flour my rolling pin again. Surface. Then going to roll it like this. And you have to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and bake your chicken, your chicken pot pie for about 45 to 60 minutes, depending on how hot your, your oven is. Press it down. Now I am going to cover it. Just lift it up like this. It will also prevent the, the filling from leaking out. See? Then use your fingers, just press it down like that. Now I am going to make my egg wash. Now my egg wash is just one egg. And a little bit of water. Maybe one teaspoon. Going to whisk it using a fork. Going to brush it on my chicken pot pie and it gives that shiny golden brown color when it came out of the oven mm. The last part is I'm going to 
use a knife just poke some holes on top like that to let the steam escape while baking you can decorate your chicken pot pie however you like it but I'm just going to poke some holes on the top all right now it's time to bake I'm going to bake my chicken pot pie for 45 to 60 minutes depending on how hot your oven is See you in 45 minutes. Now guys, it's been 45 minutes and our chicken pot pie is ready. Look at that. Well, I actually made two because I made a big pot of filling. So I made two. And it's beautiful golden brown. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. So I'm going to let it cool down for 15 minutes and then serve it. We'll be right back, guys. So it's been 15 minutes and our pies is cool down. I am going to cut these. This one. I'm going to cut this one. And I am going to taste it. Ooh, look at that crusty crust. See, flaky crust. Look. Ooh. It's so pretty. Nice. Ooh. Look at that, guys. Ooh, this is so nice. Ooh, look at that flaky crust. Mmm. Going to taste it. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Mm. Look at that crusty crust. Mm. And the potatoes cook nicely. Mm. Wow. Mm. Guys, you've got to try this recipe out. Chicken pot pie made at home. Homemade chicken pot pie. Mm. And the crust, guys. See? Flaky crust. Mmm. Mm. Wow, this is for dinner. This is so yummy, guys. Look. Mm. 
buttery, mm, flaky crust. So delicious. Mm. There we have it, guys. Homemade chicken pot pie. Easy and simple recipe. If you like watching this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and please smash that subscribe button for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Like, comment, share. Please subscribe.